Hello gang gang, <coughs> old John Bellucci here. Uh, my little, I've got a little demonstration video here today. I'm using one of uh, Matuska's new, really brand new uh, whitetail mannequins. These are very good. I really like these a lot. They've got a lot of detail. And um, they, fit, uh, they fit the capes real well, okay? This one here in particular is their new series. It's the XP SS for Semi Snake. 343, right to, uh, left turn, sorry, it's a left turn. The size is 7.5 by 20 by 22. Now, the nice thing about this one here, I bought one with the, uh, I, I bought the headphone that comes with the uh, nose casting. And when the form, when you get the head form, it's the head is completely wrapped in plastic, as well as around the nose, because the nose is not attached yet. Okay, they leave that to you, the taxidermist, to attach the nose. I don't know, you may be able to request them, uh, that, that request of them that they firmly attach the nose, but I like doing this kind of stuff myself. The nice thing about these forms, they're made with the nose shelf right here, okay, so that you know that the, it's cut right and it's going to fit right. Now, this is the same method I use when I cut a head form to attach a nose casting, okay? A replacement nose. Now these are nice, they've got a lot of detail in them. Not only uh, are they deep, but there's, uh, there is a grain texture in the nose itself, which is very good. There's a little line located in the nose, down in the bottom of the bottom, lower nostril I should say. There's a line there which indicates where you can trim your nose skin when you lay it in to glue it down so that it will be easier to blend the skin and epoxy to the casting. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I attach this. I, if you don't scuff it up, you can use a CA glue. I'm not big on using CA glue for attaching parts on a form that's that you're going to have a mount on, I prefer using something a little more, um, a little more secure, like a like a five minute epoxy. For this case here, and m most of my cases, I like the Gorilla Glue five minute epoxy. Very strong stuff. But the nose goes here just like so. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you my insane method of putting it all together. Alrighty, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scuff up the nose shelf on the head form. I don't use a, I don't use a stout ruffer or a narrow ruffer. That eats into the plastic way too deep. I'm gonna use this little, uh, I think this is a Joe Combs do-it-all brush. It's great for scuffing up the foam. It scuffs the surface without chewing it up. This is the smaller of the two brushes. It's just it's just a uh, a brass a round brass brush uh, brush secured into a uh, wooden dowel. That's all. But it does one heck of a job. It does one heck of a job. I use these brushes on the entire head form. I use a small brush to get down into the brisket area where the leg stumps are. I don't know what else to call them. I call them stumps. That's what they look like to me. I'll use this in the uh, eye sockets as well, which is preferred over, over the narrow rough or rather stout rougher. Okay, now I will use the narrow rougher to scuff up the inside, I should say the rear and underside of the nose. Um, sometimes it might be good to use leather gloves. I brought my leather gloves out. I don't have them on. Shows you the, the level of my genius. But uh, grab hold by the nostrils, good stout hold, and simply, you want to simply scrape the surface.
you go from front to back, or back to front, and side to side. So you have a nice, nicely textured surface. See how smooth the back is? Okay, how shiny and smooth that is? Well, we're going to rough it up just a little bit. Actually, going to rough it up quite a lot so that the epoxy, it will serve, give the epoxy a bite. Okay. I believe you when I tell you, I have <clears throat> sliced my hand with these things when uh, scuffing up ear liners. I ripped right into me. It hurts. And we have a nice textured surface, which will allow the, uh, the five minute epoxy to take hold. I also, I hold the nose on with a rubber band and with a length of surgical tubing. And this is attached around the head. Let me get a focus on this son of a gun. There we go. Stretches. And hold, it helps hold parts in place. This is real good when you're, re, when you're altering a form, remaking a form. Okay. I'm going to squeeze. Try to get an equal amount of the 5-minute epoxy. Onto the surface of this little plastic container. This was actually the top of a, uh, I think it was top of a um, can of acetone, I believe. May have been. Mix yourself up enough. You want to get enough mixed up. the little tube top back in place. Tube top? How about the top of the tube back in place instead of the tube top? There we go. Now, take a little old craft stick, ice cream stick, mix this up really well. The two parts well mixed. Take as much time as you need to mix this. Now this is a five minute epoxy. It's not going to set up immediately. So you'll have plenty of time to mix this stuff up. Okay. Now, when I cut a nose off of a form using a saw or a knife, whatever I have handy at the time, whatever I'm using, usually I use a saw. Sometimes it'll be a... Um, Whatever it is, it's a fine, it's a fine saw. Okay. Now we take the nose. We put the epoxy on the bottom half thoroughly. I'm sorry, this is the back, the back half of the uh, nose casting. And now we put it on the bottom. Make sure you get it really, really thickly spread at the back of the nose, the underside, and the top. Now we're going to swing on over, swing the camera on over to the form. And I'm going to get this put in place. Uh, simply like so. Now, first things first, I'm going to get a rubber band, or as I like to call them, a bubba rand, just because I can. Now you want to make sure you get this centered. Push it up as far to the back as you can. Whatever oozes out, simply wipe it away. Wipe your fingers off with paper towel.
You want to make sure this is even on both sides. Now I'm going to take this this piece of surgical tubing it has a T-pin through it. I'm going to stick it into the head form behind the eye. I'm going to come around like so. Give, give a little stretch so that you have plenty left here. You have left over, I should say. And as you relax this, well, okay, you could do it slower than that, I guess. <laughs> this will help hold the nose up against the head form. This will help hold the nose up, up against the head form, okay? So now you've got the rubber band holding it in place, top to bottom. Now we've got the surgical tubing holding it in place to the back. Now, if some of the glue leaks out onto the rubber, no big deal, this is latex. It's going to be just dandy and fine. It will undo itself. Let's see if I can't tighten this side up just a bit. Yeah, I'll go a little further back. There we go. There we are. It's down below the head block. There we go. Nice and tight. Now, just holding it nice and tight. And you want to constantly check back and forth, and don't mind my head. You want to make sure that she's centered properly on the head form. And in five minutes, this will set up, and all will be wonderful. I'll go ahead and wipe some of this off of here. Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. Okay. Set this one a little further back as well. I want this nice and tight. There we are. Now let's get it up on the nose where it belongs. There we go. There we are. Papa Rivera, Papa Rivera, Papa Wonderful. And that's where we are. This will set. Now with all adjustments made, I will just leave this until the epoxy has time to cure. Uh, it's about it's about 52, 54 degrees out here today. So it'll probably take a little longer than usual, than normal, to set up. Uh, normal course of events, it'll take about five minutes. Temperatures of 50 degrees or less, it can take up to 10, 15 minutes to fully set before you can release the nose from bondage, as it were. But this is a really, really good way to have a good two-point security system, top to bottom, side to side. And this surgical tubing is the bomb uh, that is also sold by Matuska, just so you know. They sell the surgical tubing. I also use it as a cover on the metal hide stretchers I use to stretch out salted deer capes. It keeps the steel from, the steel uh, skin uh, stretchers, spreaders, keeps it from rusting, okay? So this has lots of purposes in a shop. Like I said, if you're altering the length of the head, if you're shortening it or lengthening it and whatnot, and you've, you're foaming pieces together, this is a great way to hold the pieces in place until all is set. Alrighty, it's been about uh, 10 minutes. And we're not getting any more glue coming off on my fingers. So now would be a good time to take away the, the bindings. Take that away. So that just, that just pops away even where it might be secured with the, uh, <clears throat> from the, um, the glue. And now the latex rubber band comes off. And the nose casting is fully secure. 
Now, wherever you have a little overage from the side of the form, this can be taken down easily with a file. Now, I don't have one at hand. It's, it's over in the tool chest. But here we go. The nose is now secure. Oh, well, here we are, back in about the same position we started in. Except this time, I got my shades, got my hat. That means I'm finished on this for now. This deer will probably be mounted uh, within the next week or so. I have one down in my basement shop that's uh, already has his nose attached. It was a, a form where I had to cut the shelf out <clears throat> and put the nose casting on. Same large, uh, the same size large or large size nose, I should say. But this is good and secure. She's not coming off. And um, success. That's how I attach a cast nose to a form. I've used Matuska noses. I've used Champion's Choice noses. I like them both. There's not one better over the other. I like both of them. Um, <clears throat> as a large form goes, the Matuska has <clears throat> the larger nose. Uh, they also have a really great mule deer nose, as does Champion's Choice, okay? Um, like I say, this form I ordered, I ordered it with the nose, kind of a package deal. And uh, I'm real pleased with the results I get with these, with these cast noses. And I'm, I'm as old school as it comes, man. I used to carve the nose out, <clears throat> file and sand it inside, uh, model the surface down with sculpting epoxy, uh, made sure it was pre-painted and whatnot, then, you know, tuck the nose in and secure it down with the CA glue. That's where I would use CA glue would be uh, skin to the nose. These days, though, I prefer the uh, Pro One premium hide paste, even to hold the nose skin in place. I no longer have to worry about pinning the nose skin in place. <clears throat> I simply tuck in a ship load of plastic, plastic bag, what have you, into the nose. Uh, it's good to save your plastic shopping bags from your grocery shopping. Those are great for stuffing into, the, in, into a nose, okay? Those are great. They stuff all the way in, they expand once they're in the nose, they work wonderfully. So, that's where we are with this project. This deer's nose is secured, and it's time to get mounting on some more deer. So until we see you again, adios amigos. We'll see you when we see you.